Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Mini Plot Avataro Sentai Series 01 Don Momotaro Altar Set from Avataro Sentai Don Brothers. This is our first Mini Plot set for Don Brothers as you can see. Very cool artwork here on the front of the box. I like this a lot. It's sold as a set so you get exactly the amount of boxes you need. Over here on the side you can see the lineup. There are six different boxes here to make the Don Momotaro Altar. Really cool artwork. Over here on the side, got some more artwork. Over here, just some warnings and whatnot. And then on the back here, just kind of shows us a couple stylized poses. Of course, it can transform into the Peach as well. I will say that it doesn't look to be as successful as the Change Hero Don Momotaro altar, just because it looks like this section can't really come down as far as on the other one, but we'll see once we build it. Get a couple of accessories here. It looks like he's a lot of cool hand options, which I'm really excited about. If we go ahead and open up the box, we can take a look at the individual boxes inside. So I'll just pull out the first one. The front of the boxes are all the same, but again, you have that really nice artwork here with a picture of the toy in the center. Dama Mataro down here. Line up over here on the side. Over here you have your warnings and whatnot. Not really much going on on the top or the bottom. And then over here on the back, very similar to the back of the larger box, just showing all the different poses and accessories. So I think this one's going to be pretty cool. Uh, go ahead and get everything put together, stick it up, and we'll take a closer look. So here is the mini plot for the Don Momotaro altar, fully assembled and stickered up. I think he looks pretty great. You can see here he comes with a little stand. We'll take a look at this real quick first. Uh, basically, it's just your, you know, basic black stand. We saw these with the Zen Kaidra mini plot as well. Just has the Super Sentai logo there on top. And then you have a sticker here that says Don Momotaro Altar. Now, they did give you an alternate sticker that does say just Avataro Sentai Don Brothers. I decided to go with the actual sticker for the mini plot set itself because I feel like we're going to get one of these with each set. So it doesn't really make sense to just put the name of the Sentai. But if you want, it does come with that alternate sticker. And then you have this little raised piece here that gets a little mini plot sticker right on top of there. Now you can see it does have these little stands on the side and it's kind of a convenient place to store the extra fists that they give you. So you get a closed set of fists here and then you also get these open palms which are actually kind of cool if I take one of these off and I'll probably use one of these a little bit later on. So you can see it has a ball joint but it also has this swivel here so that if you want them to kind of do like a stop pose you can actually have the hand swivel up 90 degrees which I think is kind of neat. So it's not just an open hand for posing. You also have that, I wouldn't really call it like a wrist swivel because it's in the middle of the palm, but it allows you to turn the palm 90 degrees in either direction. So I think that's kind of cool. And then you can just go ahead and store these underneath. And it's a nice place to just keep track of all the extra accessories. So I'm going to put that off to the side and we will jump into the altar itself. I think it looks pretty good. Honestly, I don't think it's missing any details uh, over the Change Hero Series 1. In fact, it has more, and I'll do a direct comparison in a little bit. But it looks pretty cool. So I have the sticker here for the glasses that kind of has, like, the gleam built into it. They do give you one that's just solid black, so if you like that look, you certainly can do that. But this one has the little bit of silver, so you can kind of, you know, replicate the gleam there. You have a little sticker here for the peach. You have a band that goes around the head. And then you have a band that goes around the, uh, I guess, top knot, whatever we're calling that thing up there. Uh, this is a separate piece, so all of these are gray actual pieces of plastic. They're not stickers. And then there are some gold stickers down here for the emblem on the chest. And he does come with a Dawn Blaster. You can see it has the Dawn Momotaro Altar gear there. So you have a couple stickers on this. I think it's one big one for the top. One for both sides of the barrel there. And then you also have the, this is one sticker for kind of the gear and then the spinning piece. That's all one sticker there. So I'm going to go ahead and just take that out of his hands for now. And we will get into articulation. So you do have kind of a ball joint here for the base of the head. So you can move that all around. And then you do have another at the base of the neck that allows it to kind of hinge forward and back. You have a spin here in the shoulder. There is a butterfly joint in there in the shoulder as well. So you have a rotation and a butterfly joint. Uh, the shoulder pieces are on these kind of like hinges. So you can move these up and down a little bit as you like. You do have a bicep swivel here. You do have a swivel right where the elbow would be as well as the elbow. And you kind of have like a double elbow. So you can get a really nice pose there in the elbow, which is kind of cool. And then of course you have a ball joint for the fist. And I showed you how we can swap those fists out. 
Uh, you also have kind of a rocker here in the abdomen, as well as a full spin here in the waist. Of course, you can pop this off just like with the Change Hero series figure. And then you can spin the legs pretty far back, pretty far forward, and just about all the way out to the side, which is nice. You have a swivel right above the knee, as well as kind of a really big knee. <laughs> I would say almost 180 degrees there for the knee. That's because, of course, the peach transformation, which we'll get to a little bit later. And then you have a spin at the ankle, as well as an ankle tilt, which is really nice. You also have uh, toes that can go up and down. So just a ton of articulation here, definitely more than the Change Hero series figure. And we have the sword here on the back. I love the sword. It is huge, definitely longer than the one that came with the Change Hero series figure. And it's definitely got more detail. So it just pegs onto the back here. You can see that there is a little peg here, and then there is a little peg here for the, the back of the sword. But we do also get stickers on both sides which is a nice touch. And you can see you have kind of that gleam again that they built into the sticker. And then this is one big sticker you put on the gear here in the center. You pop this off so that you can put it in his hand. So this just comes around and pegs into the front. And then this part pegs into the back of the fist. And then it also pegs into the sword. So he's got a really nice grip on that sword. That's not going anywhere. And it's quite huge. I think it looks great. I really like that. Now you probably noticed here that this is not the same connector for the deluxe size gears or just the normal size gears, but there are going to be smaller gears that come with the alters in the mini plow line. So I'm hoping that they'll connect onto that peg right there. I can't test that yet because unfortunately I don't have any, but I'm hoping that's what that's for. There are definitely smaller gears that are that do not work in the Dawn Blaster, and I'm hoping that connection point is going to be for that. But yeah, overall, I think he looks absolutely fantastic. A lot of great articulation points. So let's go ahead, let's do a direct comparison with the Change Hero series figure. So here are the two next to each other, and as you can tell, they're very similar. Honestly, uh, at first glance, it might not be very apparent which one is which, but I think when you kind of drill down into the differences, you can tell. So obviously the swords are different. I think that's the biggest giveaway. If we do a comparison with the Change Hero series sword, I think it just, this one looks so much better. I mean, one, it's definitely longer, as you can see there. If we line these up, I would say the hilts are pretty much the same, the gears are pretty much the same, but the blade is definitely longer. Plus, because you have the two different colors, I think it really pops. This one's always been a little bland, in my opinion. Uh, let's go ahead and take this sword out of his hand so we can take a closer look. It is a little difficult to get them unpegged. I mean, I wouldn't say difficult, but it takes more force than you would think, I'll say that. So we'll put that off to the side. So if we're looking at these two next to each other, honestly, I think this guy's shoulders are a little bit better in proportion. These shoulders are huge, in my opinion, and I've always thought they're kind of a little too big. So the mini plot does fix that a little bit. I would say the heads are pretty much the same. You get a little bit more with this one, only because you have that sticker around the back here. This way it doesn't have any paint there. But otherwise, the peach, the band, the eyes, the face, that's all kind of the same. All of these spots, like I said, are separate plastic pieces, whereas they're paint here, but at least all the same spots are hit, even on the arms. The chest, this is paint, this is stickers, but again, same amount of detail. And then the legs are very similar, honestly. I think the shoes over here on this guy are better because they're a little bit more of a subdued green. They're not quite as bright. And you also get that uh, added bonus of the toes being articulated, which I think is kind of cool. So they're very similar, honestly, putting them next to each other. You can tell, I think you can tell them apart when you start to notice the differences. I think this guy's proportions are a little bit better. Uh, plus, he just feels a little bit more solid. This guy always just kind of felt like he's coming apart a little bit. Um, and it's a little bit less hollow here on the back. Really just in this kind of crotch, or actually butt area, I guess. This is a little bit more hollow. This one's not as much. And I feel like this connector is a little bit better. Uh, because it's not as deep. It doesn't have to be, so it's just not kind of as ridiculous there on the back. But you can see it's got all the same connection points on the shoulders, on the uh, butt section, on the back of the thighs. All the same connection points are there, and it is fully compatible with the Change Hero series, so I will show that off in a moment. But yeah, I think this guy's just a little bit better proportions. Honestly, I think it comes down to the smaller shoulder pads. I think the smaller shoulder pads was definitely the way to go. I think these larger ones are just a little unwieldy. Um, but not a deal breaker by any means, but 
I just think this guy feels a little bit more solid and a little bit more in proportion. And I, I have to give it to the mini plow on this one. I think it's definitely the better of the two. And honestly, because they're so similar and because this one is fully compatible with the Change Hero series figures, you could skip this one. I think if you if you haven't bought either of them yet, I would say skip this one because it doesn't even come with the gear. So there's no real incentive that you have to buy this one. Uh, just go with the mini plow. I think that's the better of the two. So, I mean, he's definitely got more articulation. He's got the toes. He's got the ankles that this guy doesn't have. Um, everything in here is pretty much the same. He's got the extra elbow that he doesn't have. He's got a little bit more in the neck than this guy does. So, yeah, I think he's got better weapons, um, better articulation, a little bit more in proportion. So, yeah, if you haven't bought the Change Hero series figure yet, I say maybe pass on it and then just go ahead and pick this up. Now, for me, since I have both, I'm probably going to display, you know, some altars with this guy, some altars with this guy, whichever ones kind of fit better. But let's go ahead and take a look at how the Change Hero series uh, altars definitely work with this guy. So I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate this with the Juodra altar because I had it handy. So this is definitely a Change Hero series altar for Juodra. And you can see if we take this off, he's got the same clips here on the chest. So you can go ahead and just clip this right on there, just like that. We'll go ahead and open up this cube here. I can never figure out where these open. <laughs> they look like they're completely solidly closed. There we go. Okay. Now I will say it's a little difficult to get this to peg in. They're the same size and it definitely works. But you might have to use a little bit more force than you think. And it almost might look like it's not going to work. But then it totally does. So you can go ahead and peg that in there. We're going to remove his arms. Now the other thing I will say is when you're plugging into the arms here, it can be a little difficult because of the butterfly joints. So you just kind of have to, you know, stick at it. But <laughs> you can definitely get him in there. But kind of pushing this in, you know, kind of moves it around in there. But you can definitely do it. Just keep at it. There we go. So we got one of the wings in. And then we'll have to get this guy in a stance that he'll stand here. Because obviously he's a little top heavy with the wings. So he constantly wants to fall back. So let's go ahead and open this one up. And peg this in here. Like I said, especially the first time it can be a little difficult. I almost feel like they're just ever so slightly bigger than the normal mini plow ones. So it's a little difficult. But I promise you can do it. Come on now. There we go. I think that's in. No? Did it pop out? Okay. Well, it's being difficult, but I got this one in. And I promise the other one will go in with just a little bit more effort. Just like I said, it's because of the butterfly joint. So because that's moving around in there, it's difficult to get it to stay in place so that I can peg this in. But I promise it is possible. There we go. There we go. So there you go. He is completely using the Juodra altar from the Change Hero series. They are 100% compatible. See if I can get him in a better pose here. So I think that's really cool. Now, of course, uh, this did come with the larger size gear that does work with the Dawn Blaster, so you wouldn't be able to peg that on the back. I don't know if they're going to do, like, mini plot versions of all the gears. I'm kind of guessing they won't. They'll just do the ones for the altars that are part of the mini plot line. So this guy would have to kind of go without a gear on the back. But you can absolutely use the altar here, which I think is very cool. Alright, so we'll go ahead and transform him into the peach mode. And I did just want to point out real quick, I just noticed I did get a little bit of stress marking from trying to peg in the lion wing there. I don't think it's going to be a problem. But it's just because the butterfly joint really makes that want to move around and it can be a problem. So... Definitely just something to be wary of. I don't think it's going to cause a lasting problem, but I might just refrain from using the Juodra altar <laughs> on this guy in the future um, because it did give me a little bit of stress there, but it's not, it's not too bad. These peg in really nice and easy. 
So anyway, transforming him to the peach mode, we're going to take the head, we're going to rotate it around 180 degrees, and then you want to kind of use that second joint at the base of the neck to kind of push it as forward as you can. We're going to lift these up and bring these over top. Now they don't clip together or anything, which I kind of wish that they did, but you just kind of bring these up as much as you can and then situate that and it just kind of sits together like that. Then we're going to bring the arms in and tuck them in to the sides. Then we're going to push these back like so, turn these around, bring this all the way up, and then just kind of position the foot however you like. So bring this back, rotate this, swing this around, and there you go. We have his little peach mode. Now you can tweak it to look a little bit better than I have it right here. Um, but it, it works. It's good enough. I mean, I always thought the peach mode was kind of silly as it is, but you do have it here. And this is capable of doing it as well. Just a few last things. I did miss a couple of articulation points. While he does have the swivel here, where the black knee joint meets the thigh, there's also a thigh swivel up above. So it's kind of right here where this piece meets this piece. So as you can see, it rotates right there as well. There's also like an upper ankle part. Uh, so you can actually rotate this up. There's a joint right in here that you can rotate. So you have that joint, then you have the swivel there, and then you also have the ankle tilt as well as the toes. So he's got a ton of articulation. They did a really nice job with this guy. And he does come with that little Dawn Blaster that I showed off earlier. And you can actually use this with the Change Hero series figure for Don Momotaro. You just go ahead and take his blaster out. And then you can go ahead, and that's why you can see the, the larger part of the peg is for the fist of the altar. But then you have the smaller peg at the bottom, and that's so that this can fit into his hand. Now it does look a little goofy sticking that far out of his fist, but he absolutely can hold it. And it's decently sized. It might be a little large for him, um, but honestly, I feel like it's pretty decently in scale. So if you want to have him using the altar gear and then transform into that, there you go. You have that option. So I like that they included that because the altar itself in the show, I don't believe ever uses the gun. It's cool that he can hold it, um, but it's really more for Don Momotaro himself. So I think that's kind of cool that you absolutely... So you have the ab crunch, and then you also have a side to side as well. So there's just, every, everywhere I go, I find more articulation on this guy. And I love the look of the sword on the back. It pegs in so easily. It looks great. So they did a really nice job with this. You even have the little stand. Oh, I forgot to show off the really cool fist. Let's go ahead and do one of the really cool fists. So we'll pop this off. Pop this off of here. Very easy to change out. They're just little ball joints. So we'll pop this. Oh, is this moving around on me? It's because this has the joint. It might be easier to do this and then pop this in. There you go. So you can have him kind of put up his hand like that, telling someone to stop. So I think that's really cool. Any more articulation they can pack into these I think is very cool. The elbows are a little weird just because of how you have to move everything around, but... I think that's cool. So this guy's got a ton of articulation. Like I said, looks great. Works well with all of the other altars, the chain share ones. There's going to be mini plot ones coming out in the next set. This guy's great. Like I said, if you haven't bought the Chain Hero series one yet, you could probably skip it or you could get both that way. If you have ones that have like a lot of arm connections, like I showed off with the Juodra altar, maybe use them on the Chain Hero series one because they peg in a little bit easier to that because it doesn't have that butterfly joint in the shoulder. That way you won't get any stress marks or anything. Um, but yeah, he's great. I mean, honestly, he, I think he's definitely the better of the two. I think he definitely beats the Change Hero series figure just in terms of articulation. I think he's a little bit better proportioned. I love the sword. I love the extra Dawn Blaster accessory. I mean, he's pretty great. Honestly, I don't really have much to complain about this guy. He's definitely the superior of the two. Uh, but I can understand wanting to get both because I think some alters will work better with one over the other. Um, also, it just gives you more opportunities to display more altars at the same time. So you could just do something like that. But yeah, he's great. I think he looks really good. Putting him on the stand, I think it's okay. I don't know. I kind of love and hate the little feet on the stand because it's a great place to store the extra fists. But at the same time, 
he looks a little bit weird raised up, but then again, that's kind of Dom Mataro's whole thing is to be up on a platform, so I guess it makes sense. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice little stand. I think it's pretty cool, and I love... I just really love everything about this guy. I don't really have too much bad to say about him. Like I said, definitely the superior of the two. It was a fun build. There really weren't too many stickers. I think, like I said, the, the main box, I think, had the chest and the head, and that had stickers. And then I don't think there were stickers in any of the sets until you got to the base and the sword, which I think were in the same box. Or maybe it was... The shoes and the base were in one box, and the sword was in another box with all the accessories. In any case, it wasn't a ton of stickers, so it was a fun build. Really nice to put together. Yeah, like I said, not too much to complain about. I like them a lot. Definitely recommend checking them out. Even if you have the Change Hero Series 1 already, I definitely think you should pick this up. Because, it, like I've, I've said it multiple times, but it's true. It's the better of the two. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.